Hi. Now in this video, what I want to do is demonstrate how we can use the T formula to solve an equation like this. It's a bit different from what we've been doing earlier if you've been looking at the videos in this series. We've got to solve this equation, 4 sine 2 theta minus tan theta plus 3 cosine 2 theta equals 3. For theta, greater than or equal to 0 degrees, but less than or equal to 360 degrees. Now, if you watched the earlier videos in this series, I showed you that we could let t equal tan theta upon 2, and we derive these expressions for tan theta, sine theta, and cosine theta in terms of t. And by substituting these values into the, our equation, solving for t, we could then work backwards and work out what the angle theta was. The problem is, with this equation, where it contains double angles, well, it's not necessarily a problem, but if I did write out what sine 2 theta was as 2 sine theta cosine theta and cos 2 theta here as say cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. You should be familiar with these identities for double angles. Then I could substitute for sine theta cosine theta and tan theta in terms of t and again solve the equation. You might want to try it but it's quite lengthy. So, is there a better way? Well, there is. Let's say, instead of t equaling tan theta upon 2, we just say t equals tan theta. I'm just going to put that up here, using t equals tan theta. What that means is that we just double the angle theta here. So, what we get is a new set of formula. That is, if t equals tan theta, tan 2 theta, sine 2 theta, cos 2 theta equals the same expressions in t as we had over here. And that means it's going to be a lot easier to work with this equation and these formulae down here than it would be to convert it to this form and work with these formula. So I'll show you how we carry on then with this. So I'll just remove the equation and the formulae. And so what we do now is just substitute for sine 2 theta, tan theta, and cosine 2 theta directly into this equation in terms of t. That gives us this equation here. And all I need to do now is just get rid of the fraction, the 1 plus t squared, by multiplying throughout each term by 1 plus t squared. And that will give us this line here. And so if I expand each of the brackets, what we end up with is this equation. And now I'm just going to remove the 3 and the 3t squared here by subtracting 3 and 3t squared from both sides. And that will give me this when I simplify it. I've got a negative t cubed here. I want to make that a positive value, so I'm just going to multiply throughout by negative 1. And if we do that, you end up with this equation. And so what I need to do next is just factorise this, and I can see that t is a common factor. So if I pull out t as a common factor, I'm left with this quadratic factor here, which factorises again. So if you factorise that, you end up with this equation. And in the usual way, we can put each of these factors equal to zero. And solving each of these equations leads us to t equals zero, t equals one, or t equals minus seven. Obviously, if this quadratic factor didn't factorize, we could turn to the quadratic formula to work out what t was. OK, so it's just a case of taking each of these values of t in turn and letting that equal tan theta. So if we start with when tan theta equals 0, that's when t equals 0, we end up with theta equaling the inverse tan of 0. If you do that on a calculator, working in degrees mode, you'll find you get theta equals 0. And you can see from the graph that we would have not only 0, but 180 degrees and 360 degrees. So 
there are solutions. Theta equaling 0, 180 and 360 degrees. Now I'll just remove these formula here so we can continue. And we next look at when t equals 1. That's when tan theta equals 1. And when that's the case, theta will equal the inverse tan of 1. Using your calculator again, you'll find it's a well-known angle. It's 45 degrees. And you can see from the graph, it's 45 degrees here. Also, you've got another solution, which is at 180 degrees plus 45 degrees, which is 225 degrees. So there's our two solutions there. When it comes to our third value of t, t equals minus 7, then we've got theta equals the inverse tan of minus 7. And for this, I'm going to need to construct a quadrant diagram. And assuming you're familiar with quadrant diagrams, you can always check them out in my earlier tutorials. Remember, tangent is negative in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So I would draw a line through the origin here and mark in these two angles to the horizontal line. They're going to be exactly the same. And when I do the inverse tan of negative 7 on my calculator, I get minus 81.86 degrees. Well, that relates to a turn in a clockwise sense, the negative sense, and in magnitude, this angle here is going to be 81.86 and so on degrees. The angles that I want that are in the range 0 to 360 degrees are going to be starting from the naught here, turning in an anti-clockwise sense. That will be one of them. That will be, let's say, the red theta. There will be another one turning from zero, going all the way around. Let's say we go from here all the way around to this line here. OK? And that will be my green theta. So when it comes to getting the red theta, it's just going to be 180 degrees minus 81.86 degrees. And that's going to give us 98.13 and so on degrees. And for the green one here, it's just a case of doing 360 degrees minus the 81.86 degrees. And that gives you 278.13 and so on degrees. So when it comes to summarizing our answers, we've got some that are exact and they are 0, 45 degrees, 180 degrees, 225 degrees and 360 degrees. And the other two, this red one and the green one, I've rounded to one decimal place, 98.1 degrees and 278.1 degrees. OK, so I hope that makes sense for you and that you can see this relatively quick way of solving an equation like this using t equals tan theta as our substitution instead of t equaling tan theta upon 2 as we did in earlier tutorials. It's an advantage here because we're using double angles. OK, so I hope you found this video useful. If so, please think about liking it or sharing it with your friends. And most importantly, it'd be great if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel. So many thanks if you do. And hopefully, if you've got problems in another topic, I'll catch you in another video.